Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for November the 2nd of 2019, well, it is titled Inside the Flame Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is a portion of the Orion region of the sky that we often look at and is a region of star formation. And we'll see a number of familiar things here, such as the Horsehead Nebula down towards the bottom. But we're looking towards what is called the Flame Nebula closer to the middle of this image. Now, while star formation occurs all over, it is often difficult for us to study. And that is because optical light, which astronomers have used for most of the history of astronomy exclusively until the last uh, hundred, less than 100 years or so, does not allow us to look through the dust. So the dusty material makes it very, very hard for us to be able to see and look inside at what is actually happening deep within this nebula. But we can use things like infrared and x-ray illumination to be able to look through the dust. So infrared is very good at penetrating the dust and allows us to see this. And if you move the mouse over the image, it will actually give you a peek into this, actually seeing the cluster and gives us an idea of why astronomers do study things at different wavelengths. It gives us another view of the of the object that we're looking at. So you can see as you go back, if you go back and forth, that you can actually see that there are some differences, some significant differences, and it gives us a chance to look inside this very young star cluster. Many of these stars less than a million years old. And while to us a million years is a very long time, in terms of stars, that is very short. We measure ages of stars in many millions of years or billions of years. The lifetime of our sun will be about 10 billion years. So in terms of that, a million years is a very, very short period of time. Now, while we have been studying star formation for a long time, there are still a lot of things that we don't completely understand. And some of our observations here with the Flame Nebula have changed or changing our ideas of how stars form. So what we what we would have thought in this case, it looks like the clusters of stars are concentrated near the middle of this cluster and our basic simple models don't seem to fit that and think that star formation would occur near the denser molecular cloud regions. So this is something interesting and something that astronomers are studying and re-looking at their models of star formation to try to be able to better understand how something like this would occur. Uh, obviously, it does occur, and that's one of the things that the scientific method works on, is taking an observation that we see and then modeling it, using models to try to fit that observation. The observation is that we know that something can occur, and then we have to come up with the explanation to be able to explain how it does occur. And that is what can take a long time to be able to finally determine exactly how things work out there in nature. So that was our picture of the day for November the 2nd of 2019. It was titled Inside the Flame Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Surfing the Rings. So we'll see what